Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Glad you could come along and I'd like you to just remind you that you know just hit that subscribe button for those who are watching and who haven't subscribed because then you will get notification of whatever it is that I put out, whatever content that I have. Also, I would just ask you, please, pretty please, if you could just hit that like button because it that informs YouTube that, you know, you like my content and they will then recommend it and that will help to grow my channel. So the like button is that little thumbs up button right there and the subscribe button is that little red button in the lower right hand corner. So now we with that being said, um, I would like to address just one little thing. This is ceiling. So it would be concrete ceiling and uh and by sealing, I mean sealing the pores of the concrete and uh, stone ceiling. So I have noticed there's a tendency for a lot of people these days to be very, uh, how should I say, innovative with their construction methods. And one of the things I've noticed a lot of people have gravitated toward is, uh, is stone veneer as, as an exterior finish instead of simply doing a, your smooth finish or your stucco finish or your stucco finish or, any, or something like that. And one of the issues that that people are running into is the fact that when you use your stone, when you install a stone on the exterior of your house, it is generally installed using grouting material. And the issue you instantly run into with that sort of thing, the issue with that is that it is subjected to all the elements, including the sun, constant beating down of the sun. There's also constant rain. And with that cycle of rain and sun, you find that a lot of times your stone veneer will fall off if you use grouting because then the water it rain falls and the water soaks into the stone which of course stone is porous so the water soaks into the stone and get behind it and of course lift it off if it is applied using grout now if you apply it using concrete uh, concrete mortar then that might not be all that much of an issue in terms of the falling off although that is still a problem but it is not that big a deal but you will still have day your stone being completely soaked days after you have a rainfall for example and the bottom line is that you will eventually have things like mold and so on and other things sticking to your the exterior of your house and the stones themselves will become discolored so the solution for that is to use something called a sealant so sealants for this sort of thing come in a single application and double applications and they also come in different types of chemical compositions as well but regardless of how they are applied the basic idea is that you're applying what is essentially a waterproof coating over your stone exterior and that will prevent water from soaking into your stones because most stones are in fact not as waterproof as we think and most stones are in fact porous and will absorb water and so the idea is that you will apply the sealant over your the entirety of your exterior and that will prevent the wall from absorbing water it will become water repellent and prevent your stones from falling off it will protect your grout it will prevent discomfort Coloration. The thing to know, however, is this. The sealant is, in fact, an exterior finish, and it comes in different types of look, a final finish. So you can have your matte finish, and you can have your shiny or your wet look finish, or you can have natural looking finish. So it is a matter of your own personal taste. You do not have to settle for whatever is out there to say, for example, you are going to put a, a shiny finish on your stone. You can have the stone being sealed properly and completely waterproof but looking as natural as if there was nothing applied to it whatsoever. Now I've seen where some people have tried to use varnish on their stones and the problem that you will immediately run into using varnish is that varnish is exposed to the sun and of course the UV in the sun will immediately begin to act on the varnish to firstly break that varnish down because varnish is not intended to be an exterior application and it is also not intended to be out in the sun all the time so you are going to have that firstly the varnish itself will begin to break down very very quickly the second thing is that most varnish do not have uv protection and the varnish will be immediately begin to be discolored by the sun of course if you are going to insist on using a varnish per se then there is also something called a spar varnish spar varnish is what is used on boats 
so it is a very robust very um it is designed for outdoor but this is the only varnish that is in fact designed for outdoors and it's a tough varnish it will resist breaking down but it will not resist discoloration so if you have stones that are say mostly white for example and you should just put this varnish on it the stones will immediately become discolored depending on the amount of absorption that the stones will have the porosity of the stone one stone may absorb more varnish and another stone may absorb less that will immediately cause one stone to have a slightly different color from the other stone and the more the sun beats down on this varnish then the more the discolorations will become obvious now if what you're looking for is a more even toned even look on your exterior then this is not exactly ideal yes yeah, so now we get to the meat of the matter in terms of sealants now as I said you have very you have different types of sealant they come in different chemical compositions and so on but mostly there are three variants so you have what is called your strippable sealant now your strippable sealant is almost like a paint you apply it over the surface of your stone whether or not it's your or your concrete the idea behind a strippable sealant is that it does not penetrate the stone and if you should want to remove it at a later date then it is easy to remove also it's a better product for use on interior stones because they are not subjected to the elements such as constant sunlight and constant rain the second type of sealant is called Called a penetrating sealant what that does is it penetrates the surface of the material of the stone of the concrete that you're using and this this is typically made from polymers now it can either be water-based or oil-based now you also have your impregnating sealant this is a sealant that gets right down into the stone and forms a sort of a chemical bond with the stone and it makes a surface that is completely impregnable to water and uh, other types of chemicals and this also prevents your stone from discoloring and it's extremely UV resistant now the difference between an impregnating sealant and a penetrating sealant is the fact that an impregnating sealant lasts a couple of years while your penetrating sealant will last maybe a maximum of a year and will, will need to be reapplied again of course there is the question of application application for small surfaces can be by a large sponge six by four by four sponge or a large paintbrush or a small paintbrush many of these sealants do require two or three applications depending on the type of sealant that it is you will of course have instructions on how the application is to be done when you buy your sealant however if you're going to be applying a sealant to very large surfaces say for example um, outdoor patio outdoor stone or outdoor walls like for example the entire exterior of a house you are going to want to apply this using a spray implement using low pressure you do not need to use something like a compressor and all that expensive spraying equipment all you will need is something like an agricultural sprayer and that should do the trick of course this being Jamaica depending on where you are you just might not be able to get a sealant to buy so it is just as easy to make your own now you have two things one is called tongue oil and the other one is called linseed oil now everybody in jamaica know what linseed oil is linseed oil is what you use when you want to seal the pores in most open pore wood and stuff like that that is what you usually rub on it for those people who play cricket you know you rub your linseed oil and your cricket bat and that is how it's used now what you do with the linseed oil is that you mix it in a 50 50 proportion with mineral oil the same thing you do with tongue oil now you can get tongue oil and linseed oil to buy in most major hardwares they have that available here uh, mineral oil you can get in most major hardwares as well to buy but in case you want to know what mineral oil is mineral oil is that light baby oil that they use they you know remember the Johnson and Johnson baby oil that light colorless one that look like water and it's very very thin now that is mineral oil now let us say you can't get anything marked mineral oil to buy you can just buy a whole lot of that baby oil and mix it 50 50 with either tongue oil or linseed oil now the 
problem that you are going to run into with linseed oil is that it will immediately begin to slightly discolor your limestone and remember that your limestone is white and so if you don't want the stone to be discolored or you're afraid that it might become discolored then use tongue oil instead tongue oil won't discolor don't won't discolor your limestone remember that limestone is very very porous so when you are applying your sealant you need to apply it in very very light coats so especially the linseed oil same thing for the tongue oil but the tongue oil won't discolor your limestone and that is still an extremely good sealant if you can't get the commercially manufactured sealant to buy so again thanks for watching thanks for taking the time out and i hope this was helpful because i've noticed that a lot of people are becoming very innovative these days and are trying a lot of different things to when they're building their dream houses in jamaica and that is what we like to see so as i said thanks for watching don't forget to give the video the thumbs up um don't forget to give it the like uh, and, uh, and subscribe. Just hit the little subscription button right there so we can grow the channel. And, um, and as I said, I'll be coming out with that second part to the flooring video in just a short order. So as usual, thanks for watching.